my guest this morning on Our Stories is Norm Jensen, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about his uh, growing up years and experience and, as a youth. So, uh, Norm, why don't you tell us first, where did you grow up? I, I was born and raised in Fremont, Nebraska, and that's where I grew up. We had a farm right outside the city of Fremont, and so I grew up as a farm kid. Mm -hmm. Went to high school there and, and graduated from the high school in 1953. So how big was your graduating class then? About 153 or 163, I don't remember, yeah. remember exactly. So not, not real tiny, but not huge either, so, you know. You no, know. no, it was just about the right size in many ways, so <clears throat> knew everybody. And then uh, what did you do after, after you graduated from high school? Uh, the first summer, I, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I had no intentions of, of college at that time, but I started working at a defense plant. The Korean War was still going on, and so I worked at Meade, Nebraska, in a defense plant. And I rode back and forth. I got into a carpool and rode back and forth with uh, two seminary students who were going to a seminary in Fremont, and then a medical student who was going to medical school in Omaha. Somehow during the course of that summer, um, they convinced me that I should go to college, which I had originally had no intention of doing, but uh, I ended up somewhere in the, towards the middle or to the end of the summer enrolling at the local college, which was a Midland College. In, yeah. Fremont, Nebraska. Okay. Um, now, were, were you, you had brothers and sisters? I had one brother. One brother. One brother. Was he older? He was a younger brother. Younger brother. Right, okay. right. What was the family expectation, do you think, in terms of what they saw you doing when you graduated from high school? I don't think Dad had any expectations of me. He, I think he was hoping that I'd probably farm uh, my mom had been a country school teacher for about nine years in country schools way back in the 20s and early 30s. Uh, so she was happy when I enrolled, but I don't think, I don't think she expected it uh, at that point in time because I had not been a sterling, uh, shining uh, high school student. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so the, the, the choice then of, you know, thinking about going to college was uh, a little bit of a, new notion in your household. It was. Okay. Did you have any uh, ideas at the time about uh, like what you were going to go to college for? Uh, I was uh, thinking, I had had a girlfriend who was, uh, whose father was a local doctor and, and a very uh, reputable doctor and, and so when I decided to go to college I thought well I'll be pre-med. Well, I, and I continued on in that program but obviously I did not get into medical school at the time so uh, so I had to change plans. Yeah. And uh, and where did you go to, to, to school then? I went to Midland College in Midland Fremont, College. Nebraska. Yeah. Right. It was a college, a local college. It was at the time I started in 1953. It was about three, 350 students. Yeah. It's now about 12 to 1500 students. So it's grown. It's managed to make it. So <clears throat> did you graduate from there? I, I graduated from Midland College in 1957. Yeah. And then at that point in time, when I wasn't sure what I was going to do, I had always, I had joined the Navy Reserves back in 1953, prior to my graduation from high school, and I saw so I was in the Navy Reserves all the way through college. And then at the end of that time, I decided that I'd just go on active duty for two years. So I went to, uh, to the, the Navy Corps School out in, in, uh, Pas or out in uh, San Diego, California. Yeah. And, and what year was that that you graduated? That was 57 was 57, when I graduated, yeah. right, right, so, so makes me an old guy. Well, but luckily for you, you could, uh, you were graduating at a time and making the decision to do your service duty right. when, when there wasn't uh, active wasn't a, engagement. Wasn't a conflict, going that's on. right, so, right, there was not. Yeah. I, so I, I was, it was, a, <clears throat> it was an easier time for yeah. the service, right. Right, so. Um, so you, you completed uh, your time in the service, um, and then, then how did I came back out? and I, I worked for a couple of years uh, at uh, different things, and then finally I decided well, I was going to go back to school and pick up a teaching certificate. So I went back in, in 1963, I think it was, and picked up a, and went to, back to the Midland College. I mm -hmm. stayed with my folks on the farm, and then I picked up my teaching certificate, and then I went, I, I was, I started looking for jobs and ended up going to Omaha, Nebraska to teach in, in uh, junior high school mm -hmm. and taught there from 63 to 64. 
met Lori during that first year and we were married that first summer in, in August of 64 and then uh, from 64 on the next year I was because of a nepotism rule I was transferred to another school and so she was a home she was a traveling home ec teacher at the, the one school and, and I was a traveling science teacher at the at that same school and then went to another another junior high school in Omaha. Yeah. And then eventually you wound up here in Decatur. Right. right. I actually, adding in just a little bit more, I, the, after my second year of teaching, why I got an academic year institute through the National Science Foundation. And I went to the University of Nebraska Omaha at the time, which was then UNO. Yeah. Well, um, it was Omaha University, I guess it was. And, and then um, got a master's degree in one year and then went back and taught one more year in the Omaha public school system and then transferred to uh, Lincoln where I went, worked on the doctorate in, in biology, so. So have you ever thought back about uh, the carpooling time and um, you know, the influence that uh, those guys had? To, to years get, later, yes, I, Dick, I, years later I started to think, you know, how did I get to college? Because I had no intent on that. And years later I got to thinking, there were those two seminary students and medical students who must have been talking me, talked me into this. And I regret, I never got back in time before uh, one of the fellows, uh, the two pastors died. Mm. And I never followed the medical student at all, but uh, I wanted to thank them for kind of leading me down yeah. that particular yeah. path. Just never got there. And, and But it was a, a, really a sort of a chance relationship. It was a chance know. relationship, but they were good. But they had a big impact. They had a big impact in, in yeah. terms of that. Yeah. So yeah. I, you know, I look back and think, wow, they kind of, without me knowing it, got me directed into an area that I, I think makes me a, sometimes a wiser person. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I hope a better person as well. So. Yeah. Well, it's amazing sometimes the uh, serendipitous things that can happen in our lives that then right. lead us in directions that we just hadn't anticipated. I. When I went to graduate school in Nebraska at Lincoln, why uh, I had a, one of these advisors who is probably as nice a person as you're going to find too. So that was another person who had a major impact on me. Um, he uh, and and I traveled. I, I did a lot more traveling at that point in time. We traveled to Central America, down into Costa Rica and Nicaragua, to work on mm -hmm. our project, which was on freshwater sharks. And uh, so that was. That was really a highlight of my life uh, to travel that. Now, Lori might not agree with me on something like that because uh, the first summer I went down, she had just we had just had our first uh, child, and and so our daughter was growing up, and my wife and Lori had to take care of her. So I was off down in Central America working with sharks, which was probably a yeah. strange things to do. So yeah, yeah. Well, well, thank you for sharing your story with us. Today. You're welcome. I'm glad you're taking the time and. Thanks for. All right, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah.